just on Frankie Ferocious, as much as he has that nose band on, he's still probably just trying to get his mouth agape a little bit and wanting to run through the bit slightly uh, in the warm-up, which is a concern for me. And Jack Trainer was just trying to keep a lid on him. He was actually talking to him, just trying to get him to, to settle and concentrate on something else. But uh, that's a concern for mine. In terms of, hi, my name is Jeff, very bright. We saw that from him in the stabling enclosure as well. But he's a horse that can come out on the track and have a little bit of a buck and a play around. And he was doing that tonight. So I don't think he's taken any ill effects through last week's run. Speak the truth. He himself was enormous last week. And we know he's got that all-important inside gate here this evening. What a race. I'm with Larry. I'm with Leap to Fame to do the big triple crown and really cement himself as a champion. Let's see if he can as we join Fred Hastings for his call of the Garrard's Miracle Mile. Thank you, Britt. They're coming up. Coming up for the big one. Favourite is Leap to Fame at 270, 3.20. Hi, my name is Jeff. Their speed. There are horses that love a tempo and finish on. It's an intriguing edition of the Miracle Mile for Garrards in 2024. The big dance about to be run and won. Stand by for a start. Racing in the Miracle Mile. One of the best away was Hi, my name is Jeff. Speak the truth, showing good speed. But have a look at Jeff come across. He's just going roughly. Oh, he's bobbled out of his gear. Hi, my name is Jeff. So Speak the Truth is going to scoot through and go to the lead. Spirit of St. Louis gets the trail. They were followed next on the outside by Leap to Fame. Hi, my name is Jeff is down and pacing, but just going very ungainly out of the straight. Sooner the better. Loyalist has lobbed the 1-1. They were followed behind them then, but don't stop Dreaming and Frankie Ferocious is last. First quarter was 26 1. They go to the back end. Speak the Truth was able to hold the lead. Spirit of St. Louis is second. And up on the outside, Leap to Fame punching the breeze. They were followed then by Sooner the Better. Loyalist in the 1 1. Hi, my name is Jeff. Is three back in the moving line, followed by Don't Stop Dreaming. And last of all is Frankie Ferocious, the best part of 25 metres off the top. They run inside the halfway mark. 28 the second quarter. 54 and 1 the half and the lead is one of the Queenslanders speak the truth his compatriot is up on the outside sitting in second spot leap to fame gets to the leader's wheel 600 to go spirit of St. Louis under lock and key next the outsiders loyalist sooner the better hi my name is Jeff from Frankie Ferocious and don't stop dreamings last of all as they come for the money and group one glory in the miracle mile and the leader is speak the truth but here comes leap to fame nowhere to go for spirit of St. Louis they were followed further back in the field then by Sooner the Better, getting into the clear at the right time. Leap to Fame goes to the lead. He's the boulder in the field. Sooner the Better sidling up alongside. Frankie Ferocious into the clear from Spirit of St. Louis. Leap to Fame needs to fight. He leads again. Leap to Fame. This could be a historic victory. This standard bred superstar. What a win. It's too good. Leap to Fame. He was just about down and out when Sooner the Better got on terms, but he has fought back and a historic win in the big one. Goes home to beat Sooner the Better. Speak the Truth has wound up running into third spot and fourth. There was a few of them there. They included Spirit of St. Louis. Not all that far away in the final wash-up was Frankie Ferocious in company there with Hi, my name is Jeff. Loyalist was back near the tail end of the field. In that bunch was Don't Stop Dreaming, but Leap to Fame. He was just about headed by Sooner the Better the Ruffy. But like champions do, they fight and poetry in motion... Leap to Fame fights back to win it. Nine on the board in 1.48.2. 1.48.2 is the time. And the winner of the race, number nine, Leap to Fame, Grant Dixon. Five is second. Sooner the better is running a mighty race. Third has gone to one, Speak the Truth. And number 10, Frankie Ferocious, wound up getting the fourth just in advance of a couple of horses on his inside. 9, 5, 1 and 10, 1, 48, 2. Number 8 ran fifth. 26, 1, 28, 27, 3, 26, 9. And the winner of the race, and that is Leap to Fame. He's done it all now, pretty much. Leap to Fame has scored officially by the margin about to flash onto the board in 148 to the interim 95110, two and a quarter, the winning margin, three and a quarter, second and third. Well, you're right out of superlatives when you talk about a horse of this, uh, this quality. He is a champion from head to toe in Brit. 
I bet you are absolutely beaming. The Queenslanders have run first and third. That's right, Freddie, and he's also a Queenslander. And those Queensland fighting, staying uh, capabilities have come to the fore, and we'll see if we can catch up with Grant Dixon. I think he's probably just so overawed by uh, the occasion here with his superstar leap to fame, and he's done the big treble. No need to be. Sorry, Grant, you're taking in what it's like to win a miracle mile. Do tell us. Yeah, I was, I was, oh, honestly, I was just so wrapped for the horse. You know, he just got to do it tough and um, he could feel on the other horse levelled up close to him, but he, he just put his head down and just wanted to get to that line. I was, I was just so proud of him. He's really got it all and things change very drastically at the start and he's just able to get into the spot that you needed to. Yeah, once, yeah, I mean, Jeff galloped. It really did, like you say, change the complexion of the race and I was able to get across by the first tour and Robbie's been pepping me up all week with pep talks, what I had to do, so... Yeah, we thought we had to be, you know, down in the two wide line by the by the corner. We were able to get there, so I was sort of comfortable off then. But it was a long straight, that's for sure. What were you feeling at the top of the straight? Because sooner the better got to you quickly, but that probably suited your guy. He loves a fight. Yeah, he did. I, like I was sort of happy half around the corner, but I knew the one that was smoking on me back was feeling all right too. So I thought I got, I'd had uh, speak the truth, but I was worried about the one on me back. This horse has been a real life changer for yourself and Trista and I saw the boys here tonight as well. What does he mean to you? Oh, it's just, oh, it's, it's been the best part of my career and obviously Trista's been the best part of my life and, and to have them all here tonight, just, yeah, just super. He's now won the big three. Are Kevin and Kay here tonight? Yeah, there they are and a lot of the family's here too and um, yeah, it's great to see them all there and come and, and really um, appreciate this horse and celebrate him. It was a home crowd for the Inter-Dominion. The New South Wales crowd loved him too. Did you hear the roar? Yeah, I think a lot of people just, you know, just really love the horse. And, um, yeah, it's great to, you know, it's just different people come and want to get photos with him and stuff. It's, yeah, it's just really great to be part of, part of him, that's for sure. Enjoy this, Grant. Thank you. Cheers. Grant Dixon. There